Hello, everybody. This is Yechenyo from South Korea, your Korean teacher. So we're going to learn about the uh, grammar with the version 2 of un, nun, i, ka. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Okay, so like this. Can you see the screen? If you can see the screen and if you can... I hear my voice clearly, then please write down in the chat with a yes, please. All right, great, great, great. Okay, so let's go to our uh, today's class, okay? So we're gonna learn about the grammar for for today, okay? So this is like a continuous class from the yesterday, like the last, like previous class, so Un and nun is gonna be the one set, and e and the ka is gonna be the one set. All right. So if they doesn't have any down consonant, then you can put some nun or ka. Okay. But if they have the down consonant, then you can use the un and e. All right. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So un and nun. When you can use the un and nun. When you're telling about the fact, you can use this one. Like for example, like a globe is round, right? It's a globe. You know, you know what's a globe? Yeah. So globe is round. Then you, when you're trying to like say the fact, saying the fact, you can use the un or nen. Okay. So globe is chigu. Chigu. Okay. And chigu, there's no down consonant. Then you can use in here so chigunen round round circle you can say tungulda tungulda so it's gonna be chigunen tungulda chigunen tungulda all right so you can use the nun all right and also this one the sun rises in the east okay there's also fact right so then how we can say sun is the he and this is the conjunction word, the nun, because there's no down consonant, right? So it's gonna be what? Henin. In the east. East is the tongjo. Eso. We are gonna learn about the eso as well. Okay. From the east. You can we can say like that, but in the east, in the east, we can also say like this, right? So henin tongjo rises. Then da henin tongjo geso then da. Right, so this is the writing, but what for the speaking, how you can say, Henin Tong Jo Geso Dinda Henin Tong Jo Geso Dinda. All right, next one one plus one is two. This is also fact, right? With the mathematically, then how you can say, one is uh, when you're counting the number, you need to use the Sina version, okay with the math. So one is going to be what? Il. Plus is 더하기. Il is. Il has a down constant. So what do you have to use? Un. So, il 더하기 일은 이. Two. So, 이다. Il 더하기 일은 이다. Just like this. Okay. Next one. Nin can be changed the form with down consonant and okay if I was like only if only if the noun doesn't have any down consonant okay I'm gonna explain what it is so let's say like this I am student you can say 저는 학생입니다 저는 학생입니다 is the like describing word student is 학생 so 저는 학생입니다 but if you, you uh, as you can see in here, there's no down consonant in here. So just like this format, just using them this format, then how you can say, 저는 can be becomes to 전. 전 학생입니다. 전 학생입니다. You can use it with the, this form, okay? But if you add it together like this, 전 학생입니다, it's like, um, 전 학생 is the like totally different meaning. 전 학생 is the students who, like, okay, sorry, 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 guys, sorry, guys, okay, 
somebody just called to me. I think I need to yeah shut down the Discord. Sorry guys. Yeah. So uh, 전 학생 means like this. 전 학생 is like let's say uh, you're the students who just got like immigrate, not an immigrate, like move from the another another school. That can be saying like 전 학생. But that's why you need a really important with the space between the 전 and 학생 because depends on the space but well, like between this uh, depends on the space or pasted that can be totally different meaning so you need to really be careful with this one okay so just remember that 전은 just gonna be changed with the 전 so 전 학생입니다 전 학생입니다 Okay, how about another one? It snowed yesterday, okay? Yesterday is 어제. We learned it before, right? And there's no down consonant in here. So it's going to be 는, but this format can be changed to what? Plus n with the down, with the down consonant. Then now we can say 어젠 눈이 왔어요. 눈이, like snowing, 왔어요. Just came, at, came down. So 어젠 눈이 왔어요. 어젠 눈이 왔어요. 어젠 눈이 왔어요. All right? Just like this. All right, let's go to the E N ga. Okay? E N ga you can use with the like interrogative words which is 누구 who what what where 어디 which 어느 You can using with the you can you can use with the you can connect with these words to explain some situation, all those kinds of things. Okay, so let's say, for example, who? Who is the nugu, right? And it's gonna be, there's no down consonant, so you can use the ka, right? Then if you add it together, then you can say with no ga, no ga, all right? So who is the teacher? If you want to ask it, then you can say, duga. 선생님입니까? 누가 선생님입니까? Okay, so this one is going to be asking, but if you want to like have some more formal word, you can say 블라블라 이십니까? 블라블라 이십니까? It's like more formal word for the 입니까? So let's say, um, this word can be used in the South Korea, in the South Korea uh, where, let's say you're the parents, then you want to see some like a teacher who trying to teach your son or kid. Then you can go to the school and you can say, 누가 선생님입니까? Right, you can use this one. But if you want to like, oh, like a respect the uh, other student, like a teacher, then you can say with the, you can say with the, 누가 선생님이십니까? 누가 선생님이십니까? All right, so you can use both of it, but if you want to use the formal word, you can use this one. Okay, let's remember it. All right, next one. Which, which was 어느, right? 어느. But this one can add it with 어느 것이, 것이, 것이. Actually, writing is going to be like this, but pronunciation is going to be 것이. 거시. All right, so what is, then what is going to be? 어느 거시. 어느 거시. All right, then this is the example. Which one is mine? How you can say? 어느 거시 mine. 제 것입니까? 어느 거시 mine. 제 것입니까? 입니까 is the asking words. Okay, not that difficult, isn't it? Okay, how about the next one? What? What is how you, you can pronounce with the muot? Muot, and they have a down consonant in here. So how you can muoshi, you can use the e. So muot e, trying to say muot e is kind of difficult to pronounce. Muot e, so they just pronounce like muoshi. All right, so like this. This is the example. What is the same thing? You can say, same. 
똑같을까요? 무엇이 똑같을까요? What is the same thing? 무엇이 똑같을까요? Right. And lastly, where? Where is the 어디? There's no down consonant, so is, which one is going to be used? 가. So, 어디 가? 어디 가? Right? And now you can say, where is the right direction? Now you can say, 어디 가? Right? 올바른 direction. 방향인가요? Is the uh, decoration word for the ask. So, 어디 가? 올바른 방향인가요? 어디가 올바른 방향인가요? Just like this. Okay? So until here, if, if you guys have any questions, please write down in the chat, please. If you can understand all, most of it, then you can just write down with that. Good, please. I think you guys have a, a lot of questions because it's kind of difficult, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, even I'm trying to. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, so what are the down consonant? Okay, I'm going to say like this. Okay, so like this. Let's just watch this one too. Do two things. Okay. There's uh, If you see this one closely like this, can you see closely? Okay, so like this. For this one, there's no uh, down consonant is the uh let's say they already have a one consonant and one vowel but as you can see in here they already have a one vowel uh, consonant and one vowel suddenly they have another one in here right so this one can be like pronounced as down consonant so how about in here there's no down consonant in here right so this and how about this one there's no down consonant, only one and one, one and one. So that's why when you go up and over here, well, there's too big, hold on guys. So when you go over there, just like this, there we go. There's no down consonant, so that's why they use the e, a ka. All right, so if they have a one more consonant, that is usually called the down consonant. Most of the most of the consonants gonna be go to the down consonant. All right. Hope you can understand what for now. All right. Other questions. It's okay. There's nothing like I mean you can ask everything, everybody. Okay. So if you guys doesn't have any questions, please write down in the chat with the yes, please. Don't worry guys, grammar class is gonna be not that long because grammar is kind of things that you need to memorize it and you need to understand about it. So even if I try to explain a lot, it's gonna be just like a scolding to you, <laughs> right? So, okay, so, okay, is ingayo is used for the where? Okay, oh, like this one, right? So they have a, like a, I, like there is not only for the, not only for the where, okay? You can just like this. Is this, ingayo is the question, uh, like a question, a describing word, uh, describing words, a decoration and describing word for the asking questions, but not only for the where, okay? So I'm gonna give you another example. Is this the, is, is this, the apple? Is this an apple? Okay, how you can say? This you can say. 이게 사과인가요? All right, so this one also can be used with the 인가요. But there is, this is not explaining for the where, for the places, right? But you, this one can be asking for the objects. But for that one, you also I mean, for asking about the object, you can also use some ingayo as well. Okay, so you can just memorize that ingayo. This one is gonna be the, just the one of the 
So one of the like questions word for the describing the like uh, objects, okay? What about when? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Okay, so uh, for the when, okay, let's try when. Clarification. Oh, cl uh, clar cl clarification. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Yeah, clarifications. Yeah, yeah. I think there's, yeah, that can be the word for the clarification. Okay. All right. Next one. What about when? Okay, so when, let's try with when. When is onje? Okay. So this is, can be onje. Okay. Onje. All right. So onje, there is no down consonant here. Then which one you have to use it? If they have a down consonant, they doesn't have any down consonant, then which one have to use it? From the E or ga, which one you have to use it? Correct, there we go. So it's gonna be onje ga, right? So let's say, this is the example, okay? This is the example. When is, when is gonna be the best time, I mean, when will be the best time? Then you can say, 언제가 가장 좋은 좋을까요? 언제가 가장 좋을까요? When is uh, when is gonna be the best time? When will be the best time to meet? Like uh, to meet? Okay, this is like this meet. So. 언제 만나는 게. So actually like this, guys. So if you see this, there's no 은, 이, 엔, 가, right? So of course you can asking with the, uh, asking with the, uh, asking for the, uh, of course they have a, like a sentence or asking for the when, but for the 이, 엔, 가, actually this is not a, like, a, there's no, a, a, the when is not gonna be including with the interrogate for the e and ka, okay? Of course, we we're gonna uh, we're gonna learn that uh, with the when and how at the next time, but for the e and ka, it's gonna be only using with the, this part, okay? So we just learn about the un nun e ka, so that's why I just only explain about this one. But please remember that for the when and how, there's the like another like explanation words or like explanation structure like a word structure with themselves, okay? So I think we were gonna learn that next time because uh, that is not related with the unnun ika, okay? So you can just memorize that when also like, but uh, for the when they have a, like another describing word or another describing structure, but not with the e and ka, okay? All right, what else guys? Everything is clear? But please remember that we only learned about the unnunika right now, right? Only this point. So actually we can't like make some sentence yet. Okay, this is just a, like a conjunctions word, okay? So like this, this is only can make it like this, but when we use the, I mean, when we learn about like past sentence and all other conjunctions and expressions word, all those kinds of things and like, uh, like ing or like a, those kind of things, then you're gonna, you're gonna be more easy to make some sentence or understand about the Korean sentence. Okay, so have any questions so far? No more. I'm gonna come for the five seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, there we go. So how was it, guys? It's kind of difficult, isn't it? Yes. 
it's really difficult, but that's the way the grammar thinks. Okay, so there's so much different grammars. Even I'm trying to learn it right now with the Korean to teach you all. So uh, please, like, this is gonna be a really long journey. So we can just go with the step by step, okay? And sometimes in the, our previous, uh, in the, our pre, or like, a, um, even our previous class with the like, speaking, there's a, uh, there is, uh, we already learned about some few, like a full sentence with the, uh, like a full, a uh, full sentence. There's already, like, a, uh, completed with the grammar structure, right? So if you guys have any questions about our speaking sentence, you can also ask it in here as well, okay? But hope that sentence is related with the, our grammar class, okay? So you don't need to, uh, please remember, you don't need to memorize the, or understand with the everything, but you need to uh, memorize or understand with the part that we mentioned it before, with the un, nen, i, so when you're gonna use for the unnika and how to use the unnika, that is the most important things. Okay, you don't need to memorize everything, but with the core components. Okay, so I think until here is gonna be enough because a lot of people still are confusing right now. <laughs> okay, and don't be afraid to asking at our general help. Okay, then I'm gonna always gonna answer for you. All right, then thank you for coming, everybody. And see you at the Arbor tomorrow, new class. Bye bye, guys. Yeah. Bye.